Jeff Frick here. We are on the ground at Spark Summit 2015 in San Francisco. Spark is the hottest technology that's going right now. There's a ton of people here, a ton of good vibe. I think it's the third Spark Summit, and we want to come up and give you a taste. So we're joined here on our next segment by Sachin Guy. Did I get it right? Yep. All right. He's the uh, Spark Practice and Innovation Labs leader at Impetus. So welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. Absolutely. So Impetus was just on the Cube at Hadoop Summit last week. What's the big delta between Spark and Hadoop? Are they competitive? Are they complementary? What's kind of your take? So it's quite an exciting space and in quite dynamic space right now. So Hadoop has been here for quite a few years and then uh, Spark has been bringing the unified platform advantage as well as the in-memory processing advantage that we have. So a lot of customers, a lot of interest has been generated around Spark space right now. And we have been doing quite a few things uh, over here in Spark. And it's going, we are doing research and development, building a deep machine learning uh, engine over on top of Spark. We have been uh, doing IP, building IPs. So one of these products we are demonstrating over here, Stream Analytics has a Spark streaming engine that we are building on top of that. Right. Uh, we are also doing a lot of technology exploration. So Spark is quite a dynamic space. It keeps on uh, innovating. So there's a data frames which came in in March. Now there's some ML pipelines. So we can keep on doing the exploration which is happening around in the open source space. Also, we are doing a lot of consulting around this space. So quite a busy thing. <laughs> busy time. <laughs> but yeah. So we were at Hadoop Summit talking about the big data warehouse. Right now we are uh, trying to build big data warehouse with Spark capabilities for the customer. Right, right. Talk about some of the customer experiences that, you know, you're out in the field, you said you're doing some exploration. What are some of the applications that you're seeing that people could do now that they couldn't do before? So uh, one of the things Hadoop was primarily famous earlier was for doing a lot of volume data. Uh, there could be a lot of variety of data, but the velocity part at the time of consuming it, consuming the data in applications was missing, the in-memory processing was missing, so Spark brings that advantage across, and it opens a lot of floodgates for applications for the customer, so they want to do a lot of SQL type of exploratory exploration on this, they want to do machine learning, they want to do graph processing, advanced data science kind of operations, right. and of course the streaming part of it. Streaming is pretty hard. Right. So all of this, if they want to do it, Spark offers that unified advantage. You don't have to have five kind of tools to do that. Right. You can do it with one platform. Right. So that brings a lot of flexibility and a unified advantage to the customer. So most of our customers actually start off doing some certain kind of a POC on why would we like to do a Spark versus what we were doing in a Hadoop environment, a Hive or an Impala kind of environment. They usually start with that analysis. Okay. But then when they discover Spark, they actually feel that unified advantage. And that's where we are building our products on. That's where we are building our, our streaming engine. We are building our machine learning pipelines on that. And it's uh, the use cases which have been coming from telecom customers, financial customers, are centering around things like could we do a kind of a uh, fraud detection? Could we have the machine data being coming up? So recently, one of our manufacturing customers, they actually came up with a requirement to set up the entire data hub. And a lot of that data hub is components would be Spark over there. A lot of those data hub components. And are they are they taking out some of that other technology, or is this all new workloads that they're that they're building apps on Spark? So it's kind of two use cases that are coming up right now. One is of course migrating the old workloads. So the workloads they could probably do in a database kind of environment, whether they can do it in a Spark kind of environment now. Okay. Second kind of workloads is uh, the new workloads. The new workloads are the advanced data science algorithms they would like to implement. So deep learning. So deep learning is something which was pretty much, it's, it's a very exciting space right now to be in. Right. And we have built a huge lot of algorithms, a library around it. Uh, this is something which we, you could not do with the traditional tools. You were constrained with the kind of data that you could do. And with Hadoop also, people were constrained in terms of the processing power, in terms of um, the, uh, so it's, Spark offers that 100x kind of advantage in terms of processing also. So now those deep learning algorithms which we have built actually give you a great advantage in exploring those advanced data science use cases also. Exciting times, huh? Lot, lot of uh, things coming up, lot of queries from the customer, lot of 
products that uh, can be built in this space. So that's why the research uh, team over in Impetus Innovation Labs is actually trying to be at this cutting edge of the cutting edge. The cutting edge of the cutting, cutting. edge. Careful, it's, it gets dangerous out there on the cutting edge of the cutting edge. I, it, it is kind of uh, exciting more than dangerous. Okay, good, good. All right, excellent. Well, uh, Sachin, thanks for stopping by. Got to get in the hook here, but uh, good times, and sounds like you said you're on the cutting edge of the cutting edge, so I'm sure you'll have a lot more fun than danger, right? Sure, it's, it's going to be fun, and it's going to be a lot of good uh, re return on investment that we are going to bring to the customers over here. Awesome. Well, thanks again for stopping by. I'm Jeff Frick. We're uh, on the ground at Spark Summit 2015. You're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching.